We are back. Managed to avert the crisis that was a laptop going kaput and get a spare one from a family member. So for the time being at least we are on and we are continuing with your regularly scheduled programme. Speaking of which, today that means I can now reveal a somewhat long term project I've been working on. It's a way to turn your model railway into a board game using elements from various um, operations you can take part in with a model railway similar to the free more like things and uh, the operations cards you can have and all this and what have you so essentially you start by allocating areas of your layout now you don't actually need huge sprawling layouts for this but you can designate each area to be a single spur of track but the areas you need to essentially you need to um, differentiate between is you need a fiddle yard slash marshalling yard that can be just a track if you want you need a TMD a traction maintenance depot and at least two industries or customers to which you can deliver freight and do a bit of shunting with. The first thing you would need to do is allocate the uh, areas. So we've already done that, which I'll show you in a minute. We've also allocated our TMD. We are going to use the actual TMD, which I'll just show you now. So the actual TMD is the TMD. Our marshalling yard is going to be that little back rail there. And that is where we're going to assemble our train. Before we um, get it sent out and what have you. So, first things first. Each area that we're going to deliver to needs to have a dash roll for it. Dash rolls to determine just how many wagons are going to go in each individual area. So this particular area is one of the two industries that I plan to serve in this, um, this game. So each area on the each industry needs to have designated spots where you can place your wagons and your freight and whatever you. As you can see we've got three there. Obviously they're not quite in place, but let's just for the sake of argument say that place is one, two, three, and then you've got four and five there. You can just get a little bit of a little bit of paper. Then you can either write one to the other, or you can do it another way, which is what I'll show you in a minute. As you can see, each piece of rolling stock we're using has got a number on it. You can't really see it because of the contrast on the camera, but the numbers are there. So we've rolled our dice for this area using, I think it's this little website here. Right, so we need to roll now to determine how many pieces of stock this industry is going to receive. So we'll roll, this is two. Okay, so what that means is we go to our stock cards, we shuffle the deck, it's nice and random, and we pull two cards from it, from the top. So the first one is a VGA van, and it's number two, which is this one here. And we'll go put that over on our marshalling yard uh, slash fiddle yard in a moment. So we'll pull the second card now. And it is a POA wagon number five. Which is this one here. There we go. Now, we've got the deliveries for this particular industry. Um, obviously we need to do one for the other industry on the light as well but now what we can do if you want is we can roll again to determine whether or not there are actually any collections to do from this uh, particular industry easy enough to do it odds if you roll an odd number that means there are nothing to collect if you roll even that means there is one or two cards to collect then you can choose whether it's one or two so quite simple we'll roll again 
that's an odd number which means there is collections and I think we'll go for two cards so we'll go back to our stock cards again and we'll pull BDA van number four which is back here what you do with these ones is you put these in place you can just put them anywhere really it doesn't really matter for collections and the second piece to be collected is VGA van 001 which is actually this one here there we are so we've got those two there you put the card by the loco so we know what's what so there you go now obviously that only leaves me with four cards left now four pieces of stock left so when we roll for the second industry which is over here if I roll higher than a four I'll just have to use all of my stock and that's how the rules work okay so we're rolling now for the aggregates yard let's see how many they're getting today rolling and five now obviously I've not got five pieces left so that means they're getting four pieces of rolling stock that means the last four wagons I've got are going to the agriculture yard. So what we'll do is we'll head over to the marshalling yard, get our train set up, and we'll go from there. Um, as a matter of best practice, actually. Before you leave and go to your marshalling yard, it's best to decide where the wagons or cards are going to go by placing the cards on the areas you want them. Now, obviously... We can't in this one, so we need to put van two can go there, and the aggregate wagon can go there. You, you can choose where you put things, or you can roll for it. It's up to you. You know, it's, it's, it's pretty straightforward. I think it's just easy just to, you know, you can choose where things go to a degree, and it's the same on this side as well. four pieces of stock we need delivering sorry about the camera angle so we'll put that one can go there that one can go next that one can go there and that one can go there fourth step to do before we actually uh, assemble the train on the uh, marshalling track over there is we'll need to pick which locomotive is going to do the work today so we've got the local deck there Give it a shuffle, 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 shuffle. I've only got five locals at the minute. Pull the top card. And it's a class 17. Yeah, it would be, wouldn't it? The class 17 is currently out of commission. It's up there, waiting for a new decoder. So we'll pull the second one down. That's a class 67. Jolly good. So we'll get the class 67 in place, and then we'll assemble the train behind it, and we'll move on. You can just see now the train has been assembled on the filler yard. The order of which the carriages are placed behind the train is the same order of which they were pulled from the stock deck. So the first card means that's where the first carriage will go behind the local and the last card goes at the end. And the others obviously go in between. Okay, so once your train has arrived at the first industry, and the industries are served in the order of which you pull cards for them, so this was pulled for first, so this is one that we serve first. We can see, when we look at the yard, we've got two collections waiting to go, and we need to drop van two there, and van five there. If we look at the uh, order, we've got van two and van five there, so there's a bit of something to be done, all very good. How you do the shunting is entirely up to you. Uh, use whichever method works best for your layout. Obviously space constraints will probably dictate what you can and can't do in terms of storing things or whatever. But the collections must be added to the train first. So the very first thing we need to do is get these to the train. Be sure to join me for part two when we look at the actual shunting part of the operations and see how wagons and vans are moved from collections to the train.